Welcome to PCTricksGuru.com. My name is Ashutosh and uh, in this video tutorial I show you how to create karaoke tracks using an mp3 file. So let's start. I'll open the Isotope RX7 audio editor and uh, let's load an mp3. S let's select the second song scenario area. It's loading. Okay, once it is opened, uh, you may either press the Control A keys to select the whole song, or if you want to remove vocals from any specific part of the song, you may just select that specific part. So right now, I'll select. Uh, first of all, let's play and uh, listen to the original song. How does it sound? So I'm clicking on the play button over here. Okay, sounds good. Now let's try to remove the vocal part of uh, this area. I'm using the mouse to make a selection. It's selected and uh, from the right menu, try to look for the music rebalance. Okay, here it is. Click on the music rebalance and uh, it would open initially it would be in the default state so the default state would look like this voice bass precaution and other the gain level is set to zero for voice we have to set the gain level to the minus infinity so I'll just scroll it down and set it to minus infinity if you want you may set the sensitivity of this uh, voice spectrum by 10% I mean 10 level 10 and uh, if you want you can increase the level of bass by plus two precaution by plus two and uh, the others by plus two okay it's done now sensitivity just move it to seven seven and seven again Make sure the separation algorithm is set to the joint channel. Now let's try to see the preview. Let's try to listen to the preview. How does it sound? Whether the vocals are removed or not. So I'll just click preview and see what happens. can see you can hear that the vocals are almost compressed by 95 percent Okay, so this test was with one song. Now let's try another song. So you heard that the vocals were removed by 95%. In most of the songs, it removed the vocals by 90 to 95%, and in some of the songs, it completely removes the vocals. So I uh, will close uh, this song. Let's try to open one more song. For example, we have this uh, other remix by Arthur Faslam. I'll just load the file in our editor try to select an area Let me just hear the preview of the original song okay so this was the preview I'll select 
any random selection from the song and then I'd apply the music rebalance and let's try to listen to the preview and check whether the vocals are removed or not so just click on preview So you can hear the vocals are almost removed from the song. Let's just uh, let's try with uh, one more song. For example, let's choose a slow song this time. Uh, these were the remixes, and let's try to select a slow song uh, which has uh, less instruments. I will just uh, click on open. This is a song by. I don't know the singer, uh, maybe it's Kunal Ganjawal or I'm not sure about the singer but this is a good song. So let's try to play and let's hear the original audio. <laughs> Okay, so this was the original preview of the song. Now I am making a selection to remove the vocals and see how does it perform with a song which has less instruments. instruments. Select area, click on music rebalance, leave these settings as it is and click on preview. <laughs> So you heard that the vocals are almost removed from this song as well. Let's try one more song and uh, let's try the remix version of the same song. I'll open it, play it. You know the system uh, it's uh, consuming a lot of RAM. I have installed the Visual Studio and other heavy application that's why you might uh, see there are some uh, uh, glitches in between but don't worry about it once you render once you render the mp3 of the removed vocals it would be a smooth and clean karaoke track so I'm playing the remix version of the same song here this was the original song the remix one now select any area click on music rebalance and click preview and see whether the vocals are removed for not or not So you heard the vocals are almost removed and one last song, one last testing and then we would finish the video.
was the original song now let's select any part of the song and then click on uh, the music rebalance and click preview Okay, so you saw that uh, it's working perfectly with this song as well. So at the final step, I'll tell you how to remove the vocals and uh, create a final karaoke track. So open any of the files. For example, I am selecting uh, this one and uh, press the Control A key. Go to the Music Rebalance and click on render now it would start rendering the music it would apply the music rebalance effects with the song and once the render gets completed you can save the file as an mp3 but remember that uh, even after saving the file as mp3 you need to make some final touches okay the render part has been completed now you can close it and uh, listen to the preview of the song So you heard uh, the vocals are almost removed from the whole song so now it's time to save this file as an mp3 go to file and uh, then click on export after clicking export it would give you the options to save the file as mp3 wave flac lgg and uh, aiff extensions so I'll select mp3 here bitrate should be constant and uh, uh, you can uh, keep the bitrate 128 kbps and for uh, better quality you should keep it to 256 or 320 for studio quality so I'll keep it uh, 256 and then click on OK it would ask you that where to save the file I'll just uh, save the file to the desktop and name it karaoke and then save the file is being exported as an mp3 file a high quality mp3 file we'll play it and check that whether it sounds good or not so it has been saved you may close the isotope rx7 advanced audio editor play the mp3 file and listen how does it sound so pretty good you can use this mp3 file and record your own vocals and uh, create mp3 files so this was all for today if you want to get the isotope rx7 audio editor i have placed the link in the description you may use it to download the software or you may purchase it from its official website so keep visiting pctricksgooder.com for more tips and tricks see you in the next video till then Take care. Bye-bye.